When a dam bursts in movies, it might be a mesmerizing spectacle, but in real life, everything's a little different. You are now looking at the largest, most technologically advanced dam in the world, with a length of 2,335 meters. And even this miracle of engineering was unable to hold out against the enormous pressure of the water behind it. Today, we'll show you how this could happen. But before we get to that, subscribe to our channel and click on the like button. Hurry, the surging waters are already near. This is the worst thing to see near the Jagersfontein mine, the deepest hand excavated hole in the world. On the 11th of September 2022, the Jagersfontein Tailings Dam wall collapsed due to a structural failure. The aftermath on satellite images showed the flood was up to one and a half kilometers wide and stretched for about eight and a half kilometers. That's equivalent to the length of about 94 soccer fields. The flood also covered more than 26 square kilometers of land with mud and debris, damaged road and rail infrastructure, as well as water and electricity networks, disrupting the entire functioning of the city. By the way, there are more than 200 more tailings dams in South Africa, and some of them, as in Yager's phone time, are located near highly populated areas. It may not look like a big thing, but the Braskeride Foss Dam is located on Norway's longest river, where the power plant is located. And when the storm Hans brought record high river levels to Scandinavia, the dam partially collapsed. The Gloma River was flowing at 2,500 cubic meters per second, equivalent to filling an Olympic-sized swimming pool every second. The control room was flooded, and it was not possible to unblock the hatches. The authorities feared that the Braskeride Foss Bridge might collapse and even considered blowing up the dam to improve the water flow. Luckily, the dam collapse was miraculously controlled and only 20 empty houses, the road to the power plant, and a parking lot were destroyed. More than 1,000 people were evacuated before the collapse began. This is the Milana Dam in the state of Himachal Pradesh, and its total capacity is 9,340 kilometers of water. But in August 2023, as a result of heavy rains, the capacity exceeded 10,000 kilometers and burst in the place where no one expected. You'll be surprised, but because of the flooding, more than 2,500 square kilometers in the state of Himachal Pradesh and three other neighboring states got underwater, which is comparable to the area of Luxembourg. And that's not all, because more than 700 roads, including national highways, were closed due to landslides caused by the dam break. The state's damage amounted to 12,000 crore rupees, which is about 1.6 billion US dollars. This is the largest hydroelectric dam in India, which holds water in a full reservoir with a height of 605 meters. Or, I mean, it held it until July 30th, 2014, when heavy rains caused the walls to collapse sure and man. huge amounts of water and debris to flow into nearby villages and left an entire state without electricity until it was fixed. And that's no coincidence. This project was controversial from the beginning because the site was located on an extremely unstable riverbed. And less serious breaches of this dam have already occurred in 2008, 2009, and 2010. This is not a waterfall. You are looking at the Akasombo Dam, where the water level rises above the maximum operating level of 85 meters. The release of water was necessary to prevent the dam from failing, but the scale of the flooding was enormous. For example, the area of Mepe, the largest city that was affected before the flood, was about 12 square kilometers, and after the flood, the area of the city was reduced to less than 4 square kilometers. And the city was fortunate enough, because other settlements, such as Aleka Coete, Ahorme, and Ahvave, completely disappeared under the water. And this dam didn't even collapse this time. Right now, you're looking at a massive release of water at the Shangweni Dam after heavy, sustained rains in the area. 
This well-timed move miraculously saved the dam, which holds back about 168 million cubic meters of water from a critical break. By comparison, that amount of water is enough to fill more than 67,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Just take a look at the consequences from flood water flowing out of the dam at speeds of up to 80 kilometers an hour. All the people living in the river area had to be evacuated, and then about 2,000 houses were damaged. Several bridges and roads were simply washed away. And that's how quickly 160 cubic meters of water would pour out if the water barrier was destroyed. Of course, this is only the test run of the project, but this water flow already shows how strong the final structure should be. Release billions of gallons of water from a dam into the Grand Canyon? Why not? To restore the sandbars, Rappel Dam released water at a rate of 1,118 cubic meters per second, which is enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool every 0.8 seconds. And the Colbin Dam had to release water very quickly due to heavy rains, because the inflow of water was 445 cubic meters per second, and the outflow was 28 cubic meters per second. This means the dam was receiving 15 times more water than it was releasing. This is how dams can be fixed on the go. In early 2023, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers prevented damage to a Stevens Creek Dam by fixing it right off a barge. But when these empty barges snapped off their moorings and hit the Oklahoma Dam on Arkansas River in 2019, there was a mandatory evacuation in the city. The barges could cause catastrophic dam failure, but it happened otherwise. Luckily, no one was hurt. This body of water that you see on Google Maps was a reservoir for irrigating a desert landscape. It held some 900 million tons of water. Unfortunately, during the construction of the dam, the building company decided to save money and spent only half as much on materials as was needed. On May 1st, 2020, due to unusually strong winds, a powerful wave rose up which first destroyed the lower part and subsequently the entire dam. Now you're looking at NASA imagery. This is before and here is after. The water traveled a distance of 60 kilometers and even gathered along the border with the neighboring country of Kazakhstan, an area of 610 square kilometers. That's nearly the size of the entire state of Texas. After the dam failure, some gigantic catfish were flung ashore, which the government even tried to use as a reason for the breach. If you enter Dustlick MFY into Google Maps, you'll find a hotel near the reservoir and you can see for yourself the flooding of the area in real time. On August 17, 2009, an ordinary working day began at the Sayano Shushinskaya Hydroelectric Dam. But at 8.13 a.m., this happened. Due to the failure of a critical part, a large volume of water began to surge out of a turbine cavity. The pressure was so great that the whole building flooded in a matter of minutes. The water followed on workers' heels and began to flood the parking lot. You can hear popping. These are short circuits that led to a complete blackout at the hydroelectric plant. The gates remained open and there was nothing to hold the water back. The water rushed through the dam and swept along with it were 40 tons of machine oil. The total damages from this disaster exceeded $100 million, and repairs took a whole five years. Puerto Rico has 38 dams, and every single one of them has been rated as having a high hazard potential. So when Hurricane Maria struck the island, a dam failure was only a matter of time. Lake Guajatica quickly overflowed and a crack appeared in Guajatica Dam. The green expanse which you're looking at now is the dam itself, and a powerful surge of water is gushing from its side. This is how the breach looked from the air. 70,000 residents of the affected area were told to just run for their lives. The water quickly reached the local community and left behind enormous destruction. This time, the dam managed to stand, but for how long? If the dam ever really collapsed, 
37 million cubic meters of water would issue forth from the reservoir. In May 2020, a new lake appeared in Midland County, Michigan. It formed several hours after the failure of two dams at a Michigan hydroelectric power plant. Due to heavy rains, the waters rose to a critical level. Workers at the hydroelectric plant tried to release the water, but the pressure was too strong and the dams collapsed. This is how the lake looked before the breach, and here's what it looked like after. All the water from the lake roared forth in a surging torrent along the Titabawasi River, and along the way, it destroyed a bridge carrying traffic. Forests and fields were flooded, the waters 2.7 meters deep. It was the worst flooding Michigan had ever seen. Imagine you're sitting on the couch watching YouTube when suddenly your house is floating away. That is exactly what happened to residents of the Russian town of Rusha after a nearby dam burst. In mere days, the area had seen a whole month of rainfall. The Gorodyanka River overflowed as drainage pipes had become clogged with trash. The surging stream of water should have been held back by a series of three dams, but now you're looking at the second of them. They were simply blown away by such a powerful flow. Laos is home to 16 hydroelectric dams, and two of them have already failed. The first breach occurred in 2017 in the central province of Xiangwang. After the rainy season, the still incomplete Nam Ao Dam collapsed and half a million cubic meters of filthy water came rushing down from the mountains. Just one year later, a dam in southeast Laos failed in the Atapu province. This too was due to extreme weather conditions. A filthy torrent amounting to a whole 5 billion cubic meters swept across nearby towns. This was 10 times bigger than the 2017 disaster. When the waters receded, here is what was left of the towns. Yes, indeed, another 50 such dams are being built in Laos, but no one seems concerned about how prepared they are to deal with unpredictable weather in the region. A dam in the Brazilian city of Brumadinho was supposed to contain millions of tons of industrial waste. But just look, here is what happened. The dam had been made from sludge, the cheapest and most readily available material. Upon contact with moisture, the sludge became brittle, and on January 5th, 2019, the dam burst. From the destroyed storage site, so much waste issued forth that it could have filled 4,800 Olympic-sized swimming pools. In order to build Colombia's largest hydroelectric dam project, engineers redirected the course of a river. The surplus water had to pass through underground tunnels and into specially prepared channels. But here's how things really happened. A landslide blocked the third largest tunnel. Workers could not manage to clear it, and then the water simply punched a hole through the blockage. The flow was so powerful that it overturned the construction equipment weighing many tons and flooded a nearby town in just minutes. On November 15th, 2015, the largest breach involving toxic waste in world history occurred. Around the Brazilian town of Mariana, a dam failed. It had held back a reservoir with industrial waste from the mining industry. Over 42 million cubic meters of toxic waste swept over a distance of 668 kilometers and after 17 days reached the Atlantic Ocean. The mine's owners were fined $4.8 billion, not counting compensation paid to victims of the flood. Did you think that this is Niagara Falls? No, you're looking at an extreme release of water at the Oroville Dam. On February 7th, 2017, a huge hole appeared on the dam spillway. The company running the dam had skimped on construction costs by a whole $100 million. Apparently, they urgently needed to buy themselves some Lamborghinis instead. And here's what ensued. Heavy rains fell and the reservoir was greatly overflowing. Workers just needed to open the locks and release the water in order to avoid a breach in the dam. What could possibly have gone wrong? In just one second, 2,831 cubic meters of water passed through the spillway. And here is what it turned into in a couple of days. 
This dazzling water show led to losses of $1.1 billion, but the rainbow was just perfect. Were those Lamborghinis worth it? This Texas dam decided to quietly retire after 91 years of faithful service. This was Lake Dunlap on which the dam had been built on the morning of May 14, 2019. By evening, the huge reservoir had simply flowed away. This is what people who had bought luxurious real estate on the lakeshore were left with. Let's take a break from the dams. Have you ever played The Floor is Lava? It's a cool game, but visitors at Kiev's largest supermarket, Ocean Plaza, did not have fun. At 7 o'clock in the evening, residents of the Ukrainian city of Kiev returned from work and went out to cafes and shops. It was at this time that a heating pipe burst in the city center. Hot water broke through the wall of the huge Ocean Plaza supermarket and flooded the entire first floor of the store. This is how it looked from the second floor. People were saving themselves by climbing on anything they could. Men carried a woman in their arms. Those who could ran out of the store ankle deep in water. Good thing they were wearing their tight winter boots. Fortunately, no one was seriously hurt. Look at this column of water. No, this is not a GTA game and CJ did not run over a hydrant. This was in the suburbs of the Australian city of Melbourne when a pipe burst and a huge column of water shot into the sky. The rushing water uncorked a 130-pound metal plug with such force that the plug flew up into the sky, then crashed into a nearby house and collapsed the roof. The fountain reached 262.5 feet into the air, like a 13-story building. Every minute, 35,000 liters of water shot into the sky, and 2 million liters poured into the suburbs. Amazingly, a single employee of a plumbing company stopped this extreme breakage. That guy's cooler than Superman. In Houston, Texas, a water main burst and a violent stream came pouring out. The rupture happened right beneath the highway, and the water flooded the highway so quickly that the drivers didn't even have time to turn around. The expressway turned into a lake, and the water level rose rapidly. Some drivers climbed onto the roofs of their cars, and rescuers had to recover them from there. Construction of the Auburn Dam began in 1968. The work lasted more than 25 years and $431 million were spent on the colossal project. Can such an expensive project really fail? In 1986, the Fork River and American River overflowed their banks, and the water level in Lake Folsom was rapidly increasing. The Auburn Reservoir had reached its capacity, and the drain could no longer accommodate the volume. At one point, water poured out through the dam like a giant waterfall. The breakthrough happened at 6 o'clock in the morning, and by noon, the volume of flowing water was 187 tons per minute. For comparison, the huge ship Titanic only weighed 52 tons, three times less. But that wasn't the end of it. By the evening, the water pressure had increased to 468 tons per minute. That's nine Titanics. In the end, things got worse. The gigantic 265-foot-high dam collapsed, and water poured through the breach, forming a real river. This was one of the largest floods in U.S. history in the second half of the 20th century. The dam on the Tesbrook Reservoir was in need of repair for a long time. See the young trees growing through the concrete? This meant that there were cracks in the dam through which water had penetrated. The management company received constant complaints about the condition of the dam, but the company simply ignored the problem. But in the end, the reservoir overflowed and streams of water rushed down the spillway at a speed of about 70 miles per hour. Of course, the old cracked slabs couldn't withhold it. Huge holes were punched in the dam. At any moment, the water could have broken through the dam, so the authorities announced a mass evacuation. Whaley Bridge emptied out. 
In order to fill the hole in the dam as fast as possible, 500 tons of sand were dropped in by helicopter. This time, everyone got lucky. They managed to get off with just a minor stream of water. Four years ago, Brazilians had already experienced a similar dam break. In 2015, a dam surrounding an industrial waste reservoir collapsed near the town of Mariana. The giant concrete wall crumbled like a sandcastle. A stream of mud 65.6 feet high burst out of the breach, breaking the walls of buildings and lifting cars. The toxic waste spilled 415 miles and reached the Atlantic Ocean in 17 days. From a bird's eye view, it looked like a huge river of mud. This is the most large-scale industrial flooding in the entire history of the planet. I'm never getting close to a dam ever again. That's all for today. Which of these dam failures impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in the next video.